Hi everybody, Bob Gower of BobCanHelp.com. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, managing um, the C-team uh, in an organization, the people who are actually making the strategic decisions. Um, I mentioned in previous videos the importance of stack ranking features and when I'm uh, talking, and I always think stack ranking, like is it more important than, is this more important than that is the right question to be asking and what should we, we be developing next is, the, is also the right question. Uh, but there are a few questions that you can be asking um, the development team, or I'm sorry, the, 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 the C team, um, in order to keep them focused on the, the, the right questions. Maybe you're a manager or maybe uh, you're a product manager or product owner who has to work with the managers a lot. Um, and and it can, this can be a frustrating process, but if you stay focused on ROI, return on investment, um, I, I think you're going to stay focused in the right direction. You're going to find your conversations go a lot, a lot better. So some of the questions I like to ask, I'm only going to over four today. Some of the questions I like to ask are, you know, is um, which of these is more valuable to our customers? Like, which of the things we're debating is the more valuable thing? Which are they willing to pay more for, essentially? And so if, you're, if you're asking about value, you're asking about whether they're willing to pay. Um, the other thing you might say is which fits in with our, our long-term strategy. And for this, I actually like to use Jim Collins' work on the hedgehog. Um, you know, so which is more in line uh, with our hedgehog? You know, uh, Jim Collins from Good to Great. Um, so which of these things really make is more us is more of this company um, that can be a really useful way again to focus the question um, which is riskier now sometimes you actually want to get the risky stuff out of the way first so by answering the questions like this one's riskier but it's also the one that has the bigger payoff well let's let's figure that one out fast let's let's do the riskier one first it may also be that your risk profile is, is you want to be a little uh, more conservative. You may say, oh, well, this one's more risky. So you know what? We're going to do the less risky one now. Let's build. Let's do the less risky one, build some revenue, get things moving, and then we can do the more risky stuff later. And really that, that has to do with the, sort of the, 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 uh, how risk-averse um, the management team is at that particular company. Um, you can also say, um, you know, which of these has more unknowns? You know, which of these things do we actually know less about? Because anytime we're making a, an ROI calculation, we're actually doing it based on unknowns. We have no idea really how this is going to turn out. We're just guessing. Um, so if one has more unknowns, then it's more likely we're having a less accurate uh, concept of the ROI. Anyway, those are a few of the questions I ask uh, the management team in order to keep them focused on, on the ROI conversation um, during product planning sessions. I hope you found this helpful. Again, my name is Bob Gower of BobCanHelp.com. Please do leave comments on my blog at BobCanHelp.com and let me know how I can help you.